It was boredom at first sight You could hardly call him bright He is no one's Mr. Right So what do I see in him? But then I'm not so ideal I'm not gentle or genteel So the question should be what do It's in the microwave. Oh, I know. I didn't know if I could trust you. And here I am, here you are, showing me your it. Oh, this looks horrible. Wait, you taste it. <laughs> Is there nothing else? Well, there was an egg in the fridge, but it didn't have any cooking instructions on it. <laughs> you trying to make a point or something? Me? No. I have to work late to stay on top of things. What, every night? Just till I catch up with myself. Would you mind pouring me a cup of tea, then? Tea? Yes, please. This is also my home. Oh, I've had a hell of a day. The phone's just oh. never stopped. I ordered a new crankcase from an AJS weeks ago. They rang this afternoon and said it was, and I went to get it, and guess what? It was the wrong Thank one. You yeah. <laughs> How did you know? Well, whenever you tell a story, it's always the wrong one. Whether it's a new crankcase, a new dust cover for your wallet, or a new goalie for your subutio. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I see. A bit boring, am I? No, not a bit. <laughs> no, I can't eat this. Oh, at least I had a decent lunch today, anyway. Oh, yeah. I'm talking of crankcases, how is your mother? <laughs> no need for that, Brenda. I don't insult your mother. You can if you want. Yeah, well, I don't want. You've never met her, have you? She's the kind of person you can't insult because she never listens. I, really I mean, if I was to say to her, don't drink that tea, it was made two hours ago, she'd still go ahead and drink it. <laughs> it's cold. A bit like you, really. <laughs> I'll bring the coffee through in a moment. Right. Oh, will you have room for it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Good lunch, though, wasn't it? Oh, I. Oh, she certainly pulls out all the stops when you're here. <laughs> yeah, well, she's always been a good cook. Uh, and Brenda. Brenda? <laughs> Is she a good cook? Possibly. <laughs> I see. Well, there's still time. Anyway, they say you can't be good at both. <laughs> both? Well, uh, cooking and cleaning. Cleaning? Yeah. What about neither? I've got something to show you when we get in. Oh, great. We discovered your navel. It's a picture of me and Sarah. In the Times. The Times? The Thirstest and Times. Oh, big deal. Is that why you made me meet you here and co-drive this thing? I know that was David's idea. It's the lifting. He doesn't think it's wise, me being, you know, as I am, in my condition. Pregnant? Yeah. Gets very concerned about these things. Well, he's not here to help you then. He usually has the afternoon off on a Wednesday anyway, doesn't he? Yeah, but there's an important reason for that. Oh, but I don't complain. I mean, I knew what he was. It's no good going into marriage trying to change people. As your old Aunt Maggie used to say, if you don't like what you see in the window, you shouldn't go in the shop. <laughs> and she should know. But why? She married a right dummy. <laughs> So what about you, Malcolm? Oh, I don't know. But maybe I didn't do enough window shopping. <laughs> She'll be asleep for ages now after all that excitement. I'll tell her to move over. I'll get in with her in a minute. <laughs> you sure you can manage those? Oh, yeah. Say she go in the car again. How many of you live here? What do you mean? Or do you just shop once a year? Well, you'd be surprised where it all goes. Well, I, but we usually just put it in our mouths, but go on, surprise me. Brenda, just because you live on fresh air, anyway, we entertain a lot. A lot of what? Locusts. <laughs> Ma'am, are you there? Yes, love. You're making tea? In a minute. Good, I'm dying at first. Great, here's your chance. Let him die. <laughs> what was that? Good die. She's been watching neighbours. It'll serve her right. Well, seeing as you ask, no. I've got the semis of the match play this afternoon, so on my way home, I called in for an hour with the pro. Does she take luncheon vouchers? Oh, 
he was working on my swing. Then afterwards in the car park, this clown backs his Skoda into my trolley. I did. The trolley was OK, but the Skoda was a race-off. <laughs> it's not a joke. My trolley is far from OK, and I'm on the first tee in two hours. Well, you can straighten it, can't you? No, you need a proper tool. Just like the one you're married. <laughs> what is she doing here? You suggested it. Malcolm! What? Malcolm's got one. He used it to straighten the axle when we had the accident with the pram. Which pram? What? <laughs> Which pram did you have an accident with? It was ages ago. Which pram? Did I say pram? I meant shopping trolley. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. It's the same as a golf trolley, only the vegetables go in it instead of pulling it. When did you have an accident Look, with Look, do a you want it fixing or not? If you go round now, he'll do it while you wait. Or sooner, if he's not busy. Yeah, well, I suppose I could. Then I could go straight on. Well, he, he will be there, won't well, he? Well, he usually goes to his mum's for lunch, but he'll be back by two. Right. Hold on a tick. This accident. Bye, David. Have a good golf. Brenda, you mentioned the pram. So where is it? What? The paper. Did you pose for it? Or did he catch it unawares with a telephoto? I don't think I'd like to put them in my Oh, the Times! Oh, it's just our local free sheet. The Haswell Horse Show. Over the page. <laughs> St John's face. Oh, what happened to him? <laughs> Mums and Muppets Parade. It's nice to see her, eh? And you. It was very windy. Our photograph shows Mrs. Pamela Lynch, mother of 11. Does David know about this? <laughs> <laughs> Next column. Oh, sorry. Mrs. Pamela Lynch, mother of 11-month-old Sarah Lynch. They are admiring a display of locally grown produce. Courgettes? Is that a new Whittle swear word? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go to the greengrocers, did we? I knew there was something. I need them for tonight's dinner. Well, you're the clever cook. Improvise. Use another veg. Brenda, when you're making stuffed courgettes, the one essential ingredient <laughs> is courgettes. Malcolm. <clears throat> oh, not again. I was going to ring him anyway. You need to lift back. How many? Two big ones. But you don't half impose on him. I mean, I couldn't lift out now. No, don't bother. Adds a bit of excitement to his life. <laughs> oh, stupid answer phone. He can't be back yet. Anyway, Pamela, it means he'll have to leave early before the shop shuts. At least I won't be left here twiddling my thumbs all after... Hang on, here we go. It's Brenda. Now listen carefully. When you finish this afternoon, call round to our pams and pick me up. Have you got that? I said, have you got that? Good. <laughs> Hold on, I haven't finished yet. On your way round, call in at the greengrocers. That's right, the greengrocers. And pick up some courgettes. That's right, courgettes. Two of them. How many? Good. And you better finish early or I'll paddle shout. So don't just stand there. Go and straighten David's bent bit. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Hi. Hi. Hey, Brenda said you were always back by too. I had some parts to collect. What's up? Well, I'm after a favour, actually. Huh? Can you straighten the bent axle? <laughs> no way. I mean, that's the job for the experts, isn't it? How do you happen? A Skoda clobbered it. Just goes to show, you can't believe the ads. <laughs> yeah, not my car. This. Down. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's bent. <laughs> Can you fix it? Sure, leave it with me. Well, actually, I've got a game in just over an hour. Is there, is there any chance? I suppose so. What are mates for, eh? <laughs> yeah, true. What are mates for, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mother always used to go on to me to take up golf. All part of the image, she used to say. Yes, well, if we could... Never got around to it. Hey, I'll tell you what, though. If you have a short of a partner, you could give me a ring. Yes, I'll do that. I probably wouldn't be much good at first. Hey, we'd probably lose the first few holes, wouldn't we? Well, we've all got to start. <laughs> hey, I did play badminton, though. <laughs> Would you want me to hold the other end or anything? No, no, it's OK. See, that's the thing about sport, isn't it? If you've got a knife at the ball, you, you can turn your hand to almost anything, can't you? Yeah. I don't know about fishing or motorcycle racing. I for a curve might help, eh? But you see, in my case, it wasn't a ball. What? Shuttlecock. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? There's a message. Yeah, what do you have to? I have to... It might be important. It's Brenda. Now, listen carefully. When you finish this afternoon, come round to Pam's and pick me up. Have you got that? I 
I said, have you got that? Yes. <laughs> Hold on, I haven't finished yet. <laughs> on your way here, call at the greengrocers. Greengrocers? That's right, greengrocers. <laughs> courgettes. Courgettes? That's right, courgettes. Two of them. How many? Two. Right. <laughs> Better finish early and pound the shout. So don't just stand there, go and straighten David to Bempy. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> but it's a machine. Yeah, a very clever machine. Right, where's that trolley? of company. Hi, Marge. <laughs> what were you doing under there? Did you think it was the rent man? <laughs> we don't pay rent. No. Well, I must say, you've got it very nice for a squat. <laughs> How you put up with her, Malcolm, I do not know. Right, so where is it, then? Oh, where? Uh, uh, would you not have a cup of tea first? Well, you said it was urgent. Well, it makes a lot of noise. It swishes stuff round. And even after ten minutes, it's still lumpy. Turn that off for me, will you, lovey? She's taking me a little zapper off me. So? So? Malcolm said you suggested I came round with him. Oh, that's right. I rang him on the quiet. I thought we could have a little chat. Of course. What about? Oh, just how you getting on. The house, you mean? Uh, yes, the house. It's fine. Good. Is that it, then? <laughs> well, what about you? Me, I'm fine as well. Oh, good. And Malcolm? Malcolm. Can't we talk about something really interesting, like furniture polish? <laughs> he is all right, though. You see as much of him as I do. Oh, aye, he's round here every lunchtime. I know. For his lunch. It was the best time to eat it. <laughs> They're very good lunches. What are you getting at, Peggy? Well, it's like this, lovey. He's a man. And we both know, well, let's face it, men are not very bright. <laughs> <laughs> Even the bright ones are not very bright. <laughs> and Malcolm... About 40 what? <laughs> I'd have said 60. <laughs> but he's susceptible. And there's them as knows he's susceptible. And them as knows are not beyond playing on it. Afraid it's a bought one, seeing as I couldn't use the, uh... Yeah, it's a clutch mechanism. You'll be needing a new one of these. Oh, I see. You don't happen to have one with you? Is it likely? When you put new clutch things on bikes... Perkins in town. Well, they sell them, do they? Mm -hmm. uh, should I give you the money now? Mother, I've got a lot of a lot on at the moment. I see. All right, we're passing that way Monday afternoon. Oh, good. So you'll fix it Monday evening? Yes. I'll expect you. It's very hard for a woman on her own, you know. <laughs> Peggy? Don't I know it. <laughs> so, you see what I'm getting at, love? I suppose so. Well, they've all got their little weaknesses. I mean, you take my Bernard. Somebody already has. <laughs> now, you see, his problem was he always just had to chase women. <laughs> All that's changed is that these days he can't remember why. <laughs> Good. No, no. <laughs> oh, actually, I've just called round at Mum's, but she was out. Did you try next door? No, why? Well, that's where she'll be. She'll have seen you come and nipped out the back and over the fence. 
It's true. Why do you have one telling me she did it with me last week? Yeah, well, that's understandable, but why to me? Perhaps she didn't want to be accused of favouritism. She's not like other mothers, is she? No, well, that's the rumour. Wonder where we went wrong. <laughs> so, how are you, Bram? If you're after help with the shopping, I've got a bad back. Why? Oh, yeah, since what? Well, since I helped you with the shopping. No, this is purely a social visit. Second best to mums, am I? Yeah. Yeah, well, if you'd have to feed and you're out of luck. Have you nothing in? There might be a yoghurt in the fridge. There's some broccoli in the freezer, but it's sort of got mixed up with a tub of raspberry ripple. <laughs> so bad. The 15th was last week. Well, it was sold by the 15th. It doesn't say when you have to eat it by. <laughs> and this is all you've got in the house. There might be some cheesy crackers in the air in cupboard. I dropped the packet in the bath. <laughs> what about tonight? What about it? His meal. Oh, hey, Pam, we're not into the housey-housey scene. Not like you and the clockwork banana. <laughs> Brenda, come off it. It's only fair that if he's out working all day, the least you can do is have a meal ready for him when he gets in. This is the second time in three days I've copped for a sermon over Malcolm's belly. <laughs> Look, for a start, I never know when he's due. And for the finish, I don't think I should start playing those games, cos I've seen what it can do to people. People not a million miles away from this hygiene of Holloway. <laughs> Who is he? And you don't mind spending 48 hours a day stuffing courgettes and disposing of disposables while he's out golfing, gorging and guzzling. Well, I admit that sometimes I do feel a bit put upon, but it's got its compensations. Look what he gave me for my birthday. Yeah, well, if you hold your belly and no-one will notice. <laughs> my car. Brenda, Malcolm's a good one. You should look after him. He's a fella, Pamela, not a red setter I'm showing at Crufts. <laughs> you don't do anything all day. Don't rub it in. Anyway, I'm getting a job. When? Soon. Where? I don't know, but I'm fed up moping round here all day. Right, well, until you do, you could at least look after him. OK, I will. Good. Tonight. All right, I'll go the chippy. Come <laughs> off it, Brenda. There must be a recipe book round here somewhere. I'll help me choose something. No. OK. Something easy. Look, Pamela, Malcolm won't have forgotten the last time I took your advice on a recipe. When? Oh, yeah, you'd just met him. Yeah, and it was almost hello and goodbye and family flowers only. <laughs> Invite him round to the flat, she says. Choose a recipe from me collection, she says. Yeah, well, it would have been fine if you'd read it properly. The word was aspic. But you're right. So bad, you should have been a doctor. <laughs> I'd have needed to be if you'd gone ahead. Yeah. I'll never forget his face when I told him we were having chicken in our pick. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Malcolm, just in time. Emma. Well, it won't take me a minute. You're waiting to use it? Uh, no, not that thing, no. <laughs> Here it is. It's ready. It's your favourite. I've just had a big job, double burger. And why? Because you're not fed properly over there, that's why. Well, that's not true. It... Oh, actually, uh, very nice. <laughs> Marjorie, for someone who's lived such a sheltered life, you do some really amazing things with parsnips. <laughs> yes, well, you spent more time at the stove instead of all that gallivanting. Then Bannister Bernard wouldn't have been so keen to wander. <laughs> Bannister Bernard? Not as you call him that before. Oh, we're reverting. Sisters living together again. Takes us back to our youth. <laughs> yeah, but why Bannister? Was he a four-minute miler or something? Depends who was chasing him. <laughs> Bannister was your mother's name for him. When we were young and used to go out to parties, Bernard would always be the first to wind up the stairs. Oh, very good. I'm <laughs> sure I wasn't the first to say it. Oh, she was quite witty then, you know. Oh, a bit of a wild one. Eat your sweet, Peggy. <laughs> Would you have some more, Malcolm? No, thanks. I must get on. Brenda rang this afternoon and said I'm not to be late. She must want to go out this evening or something. Oh, yeah. Where will you go? Pictures, I suppose. Like, this is great. <laughs> oh, well, enjoy yourself. And remember, as our Marjorie used to say to me, once bitten, remember to put your polo neck sweater on before your mum gets in. <laughs> I never did. <laughs> Hello, darling. Just checking I've got the right hands. You rascal. <laughs> Let's 
Let's have your coke, Dad. You hungry? No. No? No, well, I've, uh... If what? I've, uh... I've, I've got a bit of a cold coming. I've just taken the edge off my appetite. Well, this is sharp, Nick. What, why the, um... I mean, what's the... Does it have to be a reason? No, 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 of course not, no. Just that you don't usually, uh... Well, you haven't before. Well, I have now. <sighs> it's not chicken and arpic, is it? <laughs> it's duck and domestos. <laughs> Here's a joke. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Some more chips if you want them. No, no, this is, uh, this is fine. <laughs> so you're not, um... I had mine an hour ago. Oh. Do you want some of this? No, thanks. Where have you been? Work. I rang. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had to call somewhere on the way home. Annette? No. You've eaten already, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great, isn't it? It was, actually. It was... I mean, no, no... <laughs> but you're going to eat all that as well, aren't you? Oh. Yes. Yes. And there's chocolate pudding. Oh, no. <laughs> so you've been going to your mother's for your tea, have you? No, no, I haven't. No, I just called there with a spare part for food process and she got this big meal ready and she... Made you eat it? No, she was cooking for Peggy. Don't stop. <laughs> Glass of water. I'll get it. Mmm, <laughs> thanks. I bet you're sweet then. Do you want custard? Uh, please. <laughs> Good. I'm making a special effort, you know. Thanks. You're not helping. I, I appreciate it. Home comforts. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, I think I'd better have a shower now. <laughs> and then, um, th then we could go for a walk. A walk? Yeah, well, it's, it's a nice night for it, isn't it? Yeah, dead romantic. Only it does take the edge off things when the person you're with can't go ten yards without belching. Sorry. My turn to shower and your turn to wash up. Oi, 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 it's always my turn to wash up. Oh, is it? Well, I wish you told me before I did the breakfast things this morning. <laughs> oh, did the breakfast things, did she? Well, who's been eating the cornflakes then? The cat? Oh, we haven't got a cat, so there. Problem. Always give in. People get to know and take advantage. That's the trouble with being easygoing and willing and helpful. They just say, oh, get Malcolm, he'll do it. Fix the trolley, pick up the courgettes. Just pat him on the head and throw him a fish. <laughs> What's up? Upstairs. It's him. Bernard. Bernard's back. Oh, I wish I'd known before. Why? We could have had me dinner. <laughs> Have I fallen in a spell? Does he drown me in Chanel? Is he vibrant? Is he out? So what do I see in him? Am I dazzled by his style? Has he made my life worthwhile? Does he melt me with his smile? Don't make me laugh. 